Hey there guys and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy 13. In the last episode we upgraded the Nirvana Ultimate Weapon for Vanille from the Marlboro one. So now the Nirvana is fully upgraded at level 100 indicated by the stars so if you have any questions about how to upgrade the Nirvana or anything like that you can check back on the last episode I cover that in detail. Now at the end of the last episode, um, I stated that we now have two ultimate weapons uh, for our characters. We have the Kane's Lance for Fang, and we have the Nirvana for Vanille. So the only one we're missing is Lightning. Now up to this point I've been upgrading the Axis Blade to the Enkindler. And I did some quick thinking and research and I figured out that uh, the Lionheart is going to be our weapon of choice for lightning because of the Quick Stagger ability. So if you're wondering what Quick Stagger does, <clears throat> um, whenever you go to stagger the enemy, you can see the stagger bar in the upper right hand corner. Well, whenever that stagger bar is 85% full, meaning the enemy is almost staggered, one hit from lightning will instantly stagger the enemy. So it's really useful. Um, so it doesn't, um, build the stagger gauge up faster, it's just once the stagger gauge has reached 85% and is almost staggered, one hit from lightning will instantly stagger the enemy, so you can stagger him quicker. And also the, uh, Lionheart has great stats whenever upgraded. Now, of course, lightning's, um, weapons are going to be a little bit weaker than fang and strength and a little bit weaker than... Vanille and Magic, but the main thing we're looking for for Lightning is she's a stagger beast. She can really build that chain gauge, and also she's fast. So you don't want nothing that'll um, take away at her speed, and you want something that's all around good if you're using her as a commando and a ravenger. So the Lionheart is pretty balanced in stats, so that's why I decided to upgrade the Lionheart, also because of the quick stagger passive ability. Alright, so on this episode I'm going to be showing you guys how to fully upgrade the Lionheart from level 1 to maximum level in the ultimate weapon form. Alright, so uh, yeah, at the end of the last episode I suggested that you guys should um, go ahead and keep grinding the Adamentos for Platinum Ingots. As you can see he's not here because I just killed him um, and got my last Platinum Ingot. So I've been saving up Platinum Ingots, it's took me quite a while, a couple hours, but uh, I finally got 10 of them. So I'm going to go ahead and sell all the stuff that I've been gathering. Again, if you want to know about the Adamento strategy or how to get the Platinum Ingots and kill him with Vanille's Death Spell, because we're at Crystarium Stage 9 still, so we're still too weak to kill him normally. So if you want to know the strap um, strategy to use with Vanille and her Death Spell, um, you can check back and I cover that in detail. That way you can keep killing the Adamentos and every once in a while he'll drop a Platinum Ingot. Also, he drops Traps of Hydrons as rare drops. So you can get them as well because everyone knows Traps of Hydrons are crazy expensive. They're the most expensive thing in the game. One of them costs $2 million. Well, you can get them for free from the Adamentos. So if you want to know how to do that, check that out. If you only have one Traps of Hydrant, I highly suggest to use the duplication trick. With 1,700,000 gil, you can turn one Traps of Hydrant into three, and it'll save you 4 million gil in the long run. So if you want to know any of that stuff, check back. I cover it all in detail. And now we're going to get down to business. So I managed to get 22 incentive chips, sell that for 55,000 gil, 20 credit chips, that's an extra 10,000. And here's where the real money's at. Each platinum ingot is worth 150,000 gil. So I'm gonna go ahead and sell all 10 of them for 1,500,000 gil. All right, now that we got uh, the money situated, let's talk about the components we're gonna need. So first of all, head over to Creature Comforts and buy 99 Sturdy Bones and 99 Barb Tails. Once you got 99 Sturdy Bones and 99 Barb Tails, head over to Lenora's Garage. And 
we're gonna go ahead and buy 31 superconductors. Once you've got that, head over to R&D Depot. And we're gonna need 27 ultra compact reactors. Now here's where you're gonna spend most of your money. The ultra compact reactors, for 27 of them, it costs 1,350,000 gil. So if you want that ultimate weapon at the final, uh, at the maximum level, go ahead and purchase 27 ultra compact reactors. Finally, you're going to need at least one Scarletite upgrade crystal and one Traps the Hydrant upgrade crystal. So if you want to know where you can find Scarletites, they can be found at the Sacrifices. We were there earlier and I explained that. Um, so if you guys want to check that out, you can. Um, fighting Sacrifices and Eden Hall have a high chance of dropping Scarletites. So you can get them for free instead of, spend 100, instead of spending 100,000 gil on them. And Traps of Hydrants, they can be farmed off the Adamentos. So you can get them for free instead of spending 2 million gil. Yeah. Alright, so once we have everything that we need, let's get down to business. We're going to fully upgrade the Lionheart. So go to Upgrade and then Weapons. Find the Lionheart. And let's make it happen. Oh wait, did we buy perfect conductors? No, no we didn't. We need to buy perfect conductors. <laughs> Sorry about that guys. Um, or did we buy perfect conductors? I don't know. Go back to Lenora's garage and you need to buy 28 perfect conductors. So I already have 23 of them here. I'm going to go ahead and buy 5 more. So you're going to need a total of 28 perfect conductors. Alright, so now we got everything we need. So let's get down to business. Sorry about that. Alright, let's choose the Lionheart. Go ahead and use 36 30 bones. This will get you a times 3 um, bonus experience multiplier. Once you use 36 30 bones for the times 3 multiplier, go ahead and use all 28 perfect conductors. This will give you 63,084 63, experience. So go ahead and dump that on the Lionheart. And it will say level improved. Lionheart level 1. Strength plus 8. Magic plus 8. Quick stagger. Improves to Lionheart max level. By the way the maximum level for the Lionheart is 21. So the Lionheart max level. Strength plus 68. Magic plus 68. Quick stagger. Alright, so once you have the Lionheart at its max level, use a Scarletite Upgrade Crystal. And this will modify it. So the Lionheart, Strength plus 68, Magic plus 68, Quick Stagger. Has been modified to the Ultima Weapon, level 15. Strength plus 83, Magic plus 83, Quick Stagger. Alright, so we got the Ultimate Weapon. So once you have the Ultimate Weapon... Now let's upgrade that to its max level. Alright, so the ultimate we weapon will start off at level 15. And its maximum level is 41. So you're going to need a total of 221,900 experience to get it to its max level of 41. Alright, so let's go ahead and use 36 30 bones to get that times 3 multiplier going. Once you got that times 3 multiplier, go ahead and use all 31 superconductors. We need to add a total of 31 superconductors after you have the times 3 multiplier. So this will give you 29,760 experience. Go ahead and add all them. And the level will improve. The ultimate weapon, level 16. Strength plus 88, magic plus 88, quick stagger. Improves to the ultimate weapon, level 20. 
Strength plus 108. Magic plus 108. Quick Stagger. Alright, so now we need to get the ultimate weapon from level 20 to its maximum level of 41. So go ahead and use... Where are they at? Go ahead and use 36 Barb Tails. These work just like the Sturdy Bones. They give you the um, experience multiplier. So go ahead and use 36 um, Barb Tails. And that will give you the experience bonus of a times 3 multiplier. Finally, once you've done that, go ahead and add two Ultra Compact Reactors. So this will give you a total of 192,000 experience. Go ahead and add that on, and the level will improve. Ultimate Weapon level 20, Strength plus 108, Magic plus 108, Quick Stagger. Improves to the Ultimate Level, <laughs> Ultimate Level, <laughs> Ultimate Weapon at its max level. Strength plus 213, Magic plus 213, and Quick Stagger. So the stats have doubled so far. Alright, once you have a fully upgraded Ultimate Weapon, use one Traps of Hydrant. And this will modify it to its final stage. The ultimate weapon, max level, strength plus 213, magic plus 213, quick stagger, has been modified to the omega weapon, level 35, strength plus 183, magic plus 183, quick stagger. Alright, so here's where the cash comes in. <clears throat> the omega weapon starts off at level 35 its maximum level is 100 so in order the amount of experience you need to get it from level 35 to level 100 is 1,482,487 all right so let's go ahead and do that all in one shot go ahead and use 36 30 bones to get the times 3 bonus multiplier once you got that times three back, go back down to your ultra compact reactors and use all 25 of them. So with a times three bonus multiplier, whenever you use 25 sturdy bones, the total experience you'll get is 1,500,000. And that should give us just enough experience to max out the Omega weapon at its maximum level of 100. Alright, so go ahead and with the times 3 multiplier, add 25 ultra compact reactors to the Omega weapon. And this will improve the level to its final level. Omega weapon, level 35, strength plus 183, magic plus 183, quick stagger. Has improved to Omega weapon, max level, which is level 100. Strength plus 508, magic plus 508, quick stagger. So as you can see, the stats have almost quadrupled. Alright, so that's it. Now you have the uh, Lionheart fully upgraded to the Omega Weapon. And then the Omega Weapon fully upgraded to its maximum level. Enjoy that quick stagger. You'll now be able to stagger enemies instantly. Once, um, once their stagger gauge is 85% full. Also, one last thing to take note of is the Omega weapon is uh, a weapon that belongs to the guest a lot. Now, if you guys don't know what guest a lot are, um, it's kind of in the sense as the speed sashes. You can see that um, Fang has two speed sashes. Now, what this does is it gives you the passive ability random instant chain. This means that you have a small percentage to instantly stagger an enemy. So it's really important. You need two speed sashes. Now for lightning, you can pretty much say that the Omega weapon is a speed sash, kind of, because they're of the same guess a lot. You, you understand what I'm saying now? So the Omega weapon is kind of like a speed sash. It counts as a speed sash, even though it's a weapon. So since you need two speed sashes to get the random instant chain passive ability for Fang, and again, random instant chain will instantly stagger an enemy with a small percentage. So for lightning, if the Omega weapon counts as a speed sash already, 
then all you have to do is add one speed sash and she will get the random instant chain ability I know she won't that that doesn't work she's still gonna have to use two speed sashes to get the random instant chain ability but the um the uh, Omega weapon loses its guest a lot ability that's right it loses it so once you transform the Lionheart into its Omega weapon it will not be a guest a lot anymore so take note on that before upgrading it to its final form all right so enjoy your um Lionheart upgraded to the Omega weapon for lightning you can now quickly stagger enemies as soon as the uh, stagger percentage gauge is up to 85%. Alright, so now that we have three ultimate weapons for our main battle team, Vanille, Lightning, and Fang. We're going to go ahead and continue with the main story because I'm really tired of farming this turtle, <laughs> this tortoise. I've been here for two days farming this guy for his platinum ingots and traps the hydrants so <laughs> now we still have to upgrade the accessories and the accessories are just as bad as the weapons in fact you're going to spend more money on accessories upgrading your accessories than you will on the weapons so with that being said we're going to wait to upgrade the accessories until after we beat the game that way we're strong enough to take this tortoise down without death and vanille summon and yeah I'm going to quickly um, switch my battle team back, make Lightning the leader because I like her as the leader. And I'm going to quickly... Um, switch my paradigms back we have rapid growth relentless assault aggression combat clinic infiltration and diversity all right so that's going to conclude this episode of let's play final fantasy 13 i hope you guys enjoy it i hope you guys have upgraded at least three your main character's ultimate weapons before moving on because it's really going to help you out with the fights ahead. And uh, yeah, on the next episode, we're going to go ahead and head over to... Um, or actually, I'm going to do that right now. Um, I'm going to go ahead and head back to Eden Hall. Right where we left off before the boss battle with the Proud Clod. And then we're going to continue with the main story. And after we beat the main story and the final boss, we're going to start farming again. The Adamantos again. Once we're stronger... And uh, yeah, we're going to we're going to get enough gil to upgrade our accessories and get the right accessories that we need. Finally, before I go, I spent all my CP because I've been getting a lot of CP. I spent it all on my character's secondary roles because our primary roles are already maxed out at Crystarium Stage 9. So I progressed everyone far enough in their Sentinel role. So that they can reach the top of their paradigms or of their crystarium. So as you can see, all of my characters' secondary roles are at the top. They're not completely maxed out, but they're at the top of the crystarium. So as soon as you get every character to the top of their crystarium for their secondary roles, you'll learn their second role level. Just make sure you get um, everyone's secondary rolls up to level 2. You don't have to go past that because the CP cost is a lot. And we're not going to do any more grinding for Platinum Ingots right now. So we'll finish this up once we come back and farm the turtle again after we beat the game. So we can upgrade our accessories. But for now, just go ahead, go ahead and advance your character's secondary rolls until they get the roll level 2 which is at the top of the Crystarium it'll take you probably about 170 or 1,700,000 CP so you might, you might be thinking that's a lot but it's really not too bad if you're fighting the Adamantos 
1,700,000 CP is nothing because you get 40,000 CP per fight. And yeah, if you guys haven't, I highly suggest to upgrade your three character, your three battle team characters' ultimate weapons. It takes a while. It took me two full days of grinding on the Adamentos to get enough platinum ingots to upgrade all the my characters' ultimate weapons. But it's really worth it. You got to do it sometime. It's better to do it now, right? All right. So um, yeah. And if you have any questions about upgrading the Omega weapon for lightning. The Nirvana for Vanille, the Kane's Lance for Fang, or the Adamentos um, farming strategy with Vanille's Death Spell. You can check back on the last couple episodes, I explain it all in detail. So for now, I'm just going to quickly head over to uh, Eden Hall. You guys can sit back and watch. I'm going to battle a couple enemies. Enjoy! By the way, the um, Omega weapon looks sick with lightning. You can see it's in her hands now. It's definitely a sick looking weapon.
We're back where we left off, and that's going to conclude this episode of Let's Play Final Fantasy 13. I'll see you guys next time where we proceed further into Eden and take out the Proud Cloud boss, and then continue to the final area, the Orphan's Cradle. See you guys next time on the next episode of Let's Play Final Fantasy 13.